Good morning, listeners. This is Brittany Berzank with another edition of Public Affairs on 91 FM, The Evolution. Today in studio for you, we've got Will, president of the Men's UW Platteville Rugby Club. Welcome, Will. How are you doing? I'm doing fine. How's it going with you, Brittany? I'm doing awesome. Thank you. And I'm also very excited because we're talking about the annual Mud Fest. Yes, we are. It's actually the 16th annual Mud Fest coming up this year. It's uh, happening down at Miners Field and also at the Memorial Park Pitch, mm -hmm. which is located below the circle uh, of Pickard Hall. It's going to be held uh, April 2nd. Uh, games are starting at 9 o'clock in the morning. Wake up early, set your alarm clock. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Games are going all day. But if you can't wake up, at least show up for the championship match, which is going to be occurring at 4 o'clock in the afternoon. And, uh, I mean, Platteville has been a predominant runner-up or at least a finalist in the championship match each and every year for the past four or five years. So we've been going strong. Oh, yeah. And this year we're going to do it again. So be there for it. That's right. That's right. Be there for it because you're not going to want to miss this game for anything. It's going to be worth every minute that you're going to be there for those 40 minutes. Now, what does Mudfest mean to not the club? Let's start off with the club. What does Mudfest mean for this club? Mudfest to this club, it means everything. It's uh, it's a staple point of each and every season. It brings the fans down to our field, and it shows them our sport. It's not something that you get to see every single day. It's not mm -hmm. something that's broadcasted on TV, and that's why we want to introduce it to fans of uh, football, fans of soccer, fans of any sport whatsoever. It's it's a game that can be played by anyone, and it's just fun, and it shows the camaraderie that is gained by each and every player. And and for Mudfest, it's something to us that it's a, a, a tournament where we can show ourselves off to the school. Mudfest is definitely one of those events that just bring everyone together on campus as it's been seen for the last 16 years. Oh, definitely. I mean, that's one of those things that everyone wants to be a part of it. And that's what we love. We want to see everyone down there. We want to bring everyone together and have them be as one and be a voice for UWP cheering us on every single game, no matter what, because we are a good team. And whether or not we're out there fighting we're going to be there always, and I really hope that the support is there, especially from our fans and from the school. Definitely. Now, not only the fans, but also I think that people in the community who have been in the community for a long time also get really excited for this time of year. Oh, definitely. It's one of those things that we bring in a lot of sponsors and we bring in a lot of different areas and aspects of of Platteville in into our community we're out there um, supporting the stores and it's one of those things that we get the community involved with our tournament we want them to be involved we want them to know that this is going on and that they're going to be able to come to us or we can go to them and be able to get uh, any anything from them or they can ask us to, to do some sort of sponsorship for them. It, it's mm -hmm. one of those things that we want to do so that way we're giving back to the community that's given so much to us. I mean, you guys are a great group of guys, so I'm sure if someone has a problem lifting something up the stairs, I'm sure you can get the club together and you guys can take care of that. Oh, I don't <laughs> doubt it. I don't doubt it. We've got plenty of guys that, that are able and willing to go out and help. <laughs> Now, as far as the teams go this year, what teams can we look forward to you guys just watching dominate? Well, uh, we are going to have two different teams from Platteville. We're having a Platteville A and B side. Mm -hmm. And uh, we actually, for the first time, are having an alumni Platteville team come in and play. But teams that you can look forward to us dominating as, as a team, we've got uh, Dubuque. Gentlemen's uh, Rugby Club. We also have the University of Northern Iowa coming in. We've got the University of Stevens Point. We've got the University of Milwaukee. We've got the University of Viterbo, as well as the University of Illinois Urbana-Champaign. Then we also have uh, men's clubs from Oshkosh and Fond du Lac coming down, as well as the Milwaukee Black and Blue. So we've got a, a, 
sprawl of 12 teams that are going to be here for Mudfast. No, that's the biggest it's been in a while. This is the biggest that it's been in about five years. So we're bringing in teams from all over the state and outside of the state. And this is something that we've tried to do over the past few years. And we are finally being successful in this because it's a big tournament. And we're getting that publicity and that uh, popularity generation. And we're, we're bringing in and attracting bigger teams. So I think that is something that our team has really strived for in the past. And we're finally getting that outcome now from what our tournament's been doing. I'm just worried where you're going to put all those big boys. <laughs> Well, you know, it's uh, it's going to be tricky. We're going to be squeezing a couple different fields down at uh, Memorial Park. We're going to have two two fields down there, and we're also going to have a third field over at Miners, which is uh, right off of Hickory Street. Mm -hmm. So, uh, I mean, we're going to have rugby pretty much everywhere all over town. It's Rugby's taking over April 2nd. <laughs> oh, it is. And uh, Platteville is going to be ready for it. We are totally going to be ready. Now... So did you guys, do you guys have a trophy? Uh... Well, uh, each and every year we have uh, different trophies. This year we're, we're probably going to have a placard that's going to be handed out to the winning team. And uh, the second place team usually walks away with a little smaller trophy. Uh, it might end up being uh, a little placard, maybe a ribbon. Mm -hmm. Who knows? Uh, but this year, uh, you know, it's, it's going to be special because it is the 16th annual tournament. And it's... Uh, it's been going strong each and every year, and we, you know, look forward to it every single year. Now, as far as some of the fans out there who are going to be attending, yes, uh, I know that we've got some etiquette for them to be like reminded of for this event. That's very <laughs> true. Uh, for this being a campus event, there is no alcohol allowed on campus or on Miners Field. Uh, we there are going to be deputies, Grant County deputies, that will be patrolling. So. Uh, be cautious and do not be having open intoxicants down at the field. Um, make sure that you're safe. Uh, you're going to have to make sure that you're parked at least five uh, yards away from the field um, because we don't want players getting injured. We don't want to have an ambulance called because someone parked their truck too close to the field. Mm -hmm. um, uh, make sure you, if you're going to bring a couch that, you know, it is that five yards back. We love it when <laughs> when everyone brings them down there. We got a whole family room set up for you guys down there. I know. Bring they, the lamps this year. <laughs> I know. They got the lazy boys. They got the coffee tables. They got everything down mm -hmm. there. Uh, just make sure that it's away from the field so that the players don't get hurt if they're going out of bounds. Um, but we do want to stress, especially uh, for the fact of uh, the open intoxicants, make sure that uh, you're, you're just keeping them at home. Come out. Support us. And uh, you run back home real quick between games. <laughs> yeah, if you really want to run back home if you really need it. But and of course, if you're of age, that's for sure. Um, but, you know, there it, it's it's going to be a good time, especially during the game. And it's always a good time after the game. Oh, yeah. I think after is even the biggest craziness. <laughs> it, it, it's the best. It, it's the part that attracts everyone to come back to it. Mm -hmm. I, I, I think that's the best part about it. So, uh, I mean, having the players all around and, and viewing the camaraderie and, and all the songs that are sung between the players. Oh, it's yes. always, always a fun time. You have to stick around for the songs, everyone. I highly encourage that. I will have to agree. The songs are one of the best parts about a rugby social. I wouldn't ask Will to share that with you, but that would probably cause for major editing and you wouldn't be able to hear any of the songs. So. Yeah, no, none of them are very appropriate right now. <laughs> now, how do you feel about today when I was talking to someone, I heard him say that Mudfest is um, Platteville's official homecoming. I'd have to take pride in that because, um, you know, we're bringing in members of 